What's up guys, Minibean75 here, and today I'm back with another episode of how to build blank in Minecraft. Today I'm going to show you guys how to build a tour bus. Now you can build a tour bus for numerous reasons. If you have an arena and you want to have tour buses outside for whoever's in the arena, bands, wrestlers, whatever you want, um, basically this is what the tour bus is going to be basically be best built for. So I'm going to show you guys how to build it right now. So the first thing we're going to want to do, we are going to want to grab some flat slabs, the flat stone slabs right there. We're going to grab some um, blocks of coal as well. So the next thing we're going to do is basically we're going to want to build our block of coal here for one of the tires. And basically we're going to have three spaces in between and then do another block of coal. Basically our tour bus is going to be five blocks wide. And then in the front we're going to go three blocks forward just like this. You want it to be flush with the um, block of coal there. We're going to go five blocks over, another two blocks here. And then we're going to go 14 blocks long with the flat stone slab. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. And then we're going to put down a block of coal. So we've got 14 there, a block of coal. Then we're going to do a flat stone slab, another block of coal. Then we're going to go two rows back, just like that. Five over, another one like this. Put down our two blocks of coal, just like that. Flat slab in between. And then we're going to do 14 all the way across just like that. And that is going to be the base for our tour bus. Now just to confirm, I'm going to count this one more time just to make sure because that's pretty important. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14. Perfect. So now we're going to go through and basically we're just going to fill in the entire um, this f entire section right here with the flat slabs. Perfect. Now that that's done, we should be done with both of these kinds of bricks. So basically we're going to get rid of these. We'll, we'll, uh, we will be using the stone slabs later, but for now we don't need them. We're going to grab um, gray concrete and then the light gray concrete. Honestly, it's going to depend on what color you want your bus to be. Um, a lot of these type of tour buses have this kind of dark gray, light grayish touch to them, so that's why I'm going to go with these. But basically we're going to take the, the dark gray uh, concrete and you're going to go all the way around the edges and you're going to make two full rows. Okay, now that you have that done, we're just going to do a couple things on the right side of the bus. First off, we're going to go in one, two, three from the front. This is going to be the door for um, to get onto our tour bus. Now, in this section where we've got our 14 blank here, we are basically going to go through and we're going to make our storage containers on the outside. So basically, we're going to start um, on this back tire. We're going to go one, two, space out two, two more, space out two, two more, and these are going to be our storage containers. Now, we are going to still use our stone slabs for a second. Basically, we need to break um, a block just right here, basically to jump down like this, because we're going to use our iron trap doors like this. You have to be facing this way so that they the uh, these trap doors open the correct way. So when we're like this, we'll go back and we can fill this in with our stone slabs. Now, if we go around to the front and we use our levers just like this, now when we close our levers, they're going to open just like this. So they're going to turn out really, really cool, and it's going to make the, uh, the tour bus really, really functional. So now we're going to go back in like this, and we're going to take gray concrete and just cover up these holes on the inside. We want it that way so that when we flip the switch, basically it just looks like a little storage container, and it looks like it's supposed to be just like that because the color is going to be the exact same. So when that's done, we're just going to grab some glowstone. And we're going to go into the bus, and we're basically just going to fill up the bus with glowstone. Not on this block right here. These two, these three blocks like this are all going to be the dark gray concrete. Everything else for now is going to be glowstone. Blocks will change as we go through it, but for now we're going to fill everything up with glowstone. Perfect. Now we've got our ma the main section of our the floor of our bus completely done. Now we need to do the upper section of the bus. So basically, the first two sections of, of these first two rows of the uh, bus are, gonna, are not going to be used for anything. These are going to be for the glass of the front window of the bus. So on this side, you want to be uh, straight up with what, where the doorway is. We're going to go two, then we're going to space out four blocks. So one, two, three, four. Put a block, and this is basically going to go back nine blocks. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Perfect. Now we're going to space out three, and then the rest of it is all going to be... Um, the light gray. So we're basically going to do the same exact thing on the other side so you want everything to match up perfect aside from one spot right here. Basically we're going to stick an iron door up here once we get to that point. So for now we're not going to do anything. Here we're going to go up one and then we are going to go over one just like this because that iron door is going to go right here. 
and that'll make sense in a second. So that's going to be just like that. And then we're going to go with the light gray concrete and do one more row all the way around. And then what we're going to do is we are going to do one more row of light gray all the way around. Now basically this is going to be basically for the whole rest of the bus. So we're going to do one row. We are going to cross here. This section is going to stay like this. So you're basically going to be one in from the very front of the bus. And then we're going to go all the way around. And we're not going to have any gaps on this section. Perfect. Now that we have that done, it's kind of starting to look a little bit more like a bus. So we are going to work on the ceiling of the bus, but that's not going to be till the very end. So basically we can clear out what we've got now. Next thing you're going to want to do is decide what color do you want the couches of your bus to be. So I'm going to use the nether brick stairs, but that really kind of just depends on your preference. So the way I like to do the couches is I like to go like this, go over two blocks, and then do this. Because this basically makes it look like you've got the arms of the couch. That all depends on your preference. If you're building it the same way I did, this is how you're going to want to do it. Now we're going to do the same thing on the other side, just like this. Now it's going to start to look kind of tight when we get in here, but if you've ever seen the inside of a tour bus, they're not that big to be honest it's kind of crazy how many people they fit in it and I'm building this based on um, if a band was using it so I mean you can kind of change it depending on what you want to decide to do so we're gonna use a couch here and then we're actually gonna do the same thing where this window is we're gonna do another couch this is gonna be a, th um, a three block couch rather than a four so basically we've got two different sections of the bus we've got a front lounge area and then a back lounge area so, and then I'll kind of explain to you guys a little bit what we're going to put in. This here is going to be the kitchen. This is going to be the bunk area. And then we're going to stick the bathroom in the back. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to build the bathroom since that's going to be pretty quick. We're going to take dark oak planks. Honestly, you could take any color planks you want. I'm just going to do the dark oak. I think it looks the best. I'm going to use some smooth stands, uh, sandstone for the floor. I'm going to need some quartz stairs for the toilet. Um, a cauldron for the sink. And then we're going to use, I like the birch door. I think the birch door looks pretty cool. So basically we're going to build the walls of our bathroom here, just like this. And we're going to go in and we're going to fill this up with the smooth stands, uh, sandstone for the floor. The quartz stairs is going to be for the toilet. Here's the cauldron right there. This is going to be for this, uh, the, t uh, the sink. And then basically we're going to stick a birch door here. And that is basically going to be the bathroom. So I am going to build another row of the uh, dark oak planks here, basically just so that it matches up flush with the ceiling. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's, it's a kind of a tiny bathroom. You can stick something in here if you want to have something that looks like a mirror or something like that. That all kind of depends on your preference. You just can't break any blocks, obviously, because that's what's um, going to be the outside of the bus. So that's what makes it kind of small is the fact that we're dealing with giant blocks rather than other stuff. But I still want the bus to be somewhat symmetrical to your character so yeah this is what it's gonna look like guys I think it looks really cool so now that you have that done basically we're gonna build the bunk area so basically we're gonna space out two blocks here build a wall there space out two more blocks build a wall there and this is basically gonna be where our kitchen is gonna start and our bunk area is gonna start so basically the kitchen is gonna be right here so basically we're gonna stick a cauldron here for the sink this is gonna be where the refrigerator is gonna be we're gonna put dark oak planks here we're going to stick one oak plank here, and then we're actually going to stick a furnace right here. So here's going to be our furnace. We're going to stick more dark oak planks just like this. So like I said, here's where it kind of starts to look a little bit more cramped, but it'll make sense in a second. So basically here we've got our, um, our bunk area, like I said. Um, in these sections, we're going to want to go all the way up so that we're flush to the ceiling. We'll do the same thing here, just like that. And then basically in this top row, we're actually going to get some flat slabs of the same color wood so we're going to use dark wood flat slabs just like this and we're only going to do that on these edges right here and the reason that we're doing it on these edges is when we put the beds in it's going to you're going to want it to be um basically so that there's a little bit more room on the top bunks because we're actually going to have three bunks on each section so this whole uh, bus is going to fit 12 people so the next thing you are going to want to do is figure out what color of uh, carpet you want. So for the sake of the bus, I am going to use brown carpet. Some people may think it looks ugly, but I think it's actually going to look pretty sweet. So basically, you're gonna, not going to want brown carpet um, in the kitchen. In the kitchen area, we're actually going to use some smooth sandstone. So we'll go in, fill that in. But like I said, that all depends on what you want it to be. I'm going to use that. And then this is all going to be carpeted. So we're going to take our brown carpet, and we're basically just going to do a streak right here just like this. Now, underneath here, 
this is all going to get filled up with um, whatever color carpet you decided aside from this block right here this one block you shouldn't really notice that it's not right so we're gonna get rid of all that stuff we're gonna go here we're gonna get our brown carpet and then fill in everything that was glowstone just underneath where the beds are gonna sit and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna build up just like this for now in all the bunks it's gonna make sense in a second when I put the beds in so the next thing we're going to do is you want to build your bed. So you're going to need to decide what color um, sheets do you want of your bed. I'm just going to do black sheets. I think that's going to match really well. But like I said, it's all going to depend on your preference. So we're going to go through here. And basically we're going to set up our beds. So we've got our top bunk here. Now this is why we wanted to have a little bit of extra space. Because if you didn't have, if this space was filled, you would literally have no space for this bed. Then we're basically going to do the same thing here and the same thing here now you have to work from the top down otherwise you're not gonna be able to put the beds in because you can't stack the beds see we've got that one little spot right there but like I said unless you're looking for it you literally can't notice it so go through fill up all the beds and now we've got our little bunk area so basically yeah we've got six or twelve people now that can all sleep on this little bus which is kinda crazy to think that we can cram all that into minecraft it's pretty cool um, so then we are going to go through and we're actually going to put all of our windows in next just so that it can kind of all start to make sense. So all you're really going to need is just glass panes and then regular glass blocks. Now for these back windows, you can make them tinted if you like. Most buses usually are tinted. For the sake of Minecraft, I'm not going to do tinted windows, but you can do basically whatever color windows you want. If you want your bus to have green windows, you go for it. So we're going to go through here. Oop. And we're, oh, still can't get that one. And we're going to go through and just fill up all the side windows just like that. Perfect. Now, if you did do tinted windows for the back, you're probably not going to want to do tinted windows for the front. But like I said, this is Minecraft. This is your bus. You can do it however you want. But on these two side windows, we're going to do full glass blocks just like this. And then we're going to fill up the front here with glass panes. And you can decide, too, how you want to do this. If you want to leave it open just like this, that's fine. For the sake of the bus, I am going to go up one more row because generally the way that these buses are set up, the glass um, on the front goes all the way up and then it kind of curves into the roof. And with Minecraft, obviously, I can't make it curve in, but I think this makes it look the best because it's going to have a complete, um, a complete flat front for the most part other than a slight curve into the top. But yeah, so this is going to be the outside of the bus, so now we're kind of getting somewhere with it. So the next thing we're going to want to do is we're going to want to go into the bus and we're basically going to want to finish up our kitchen and then basically our two lounge areas. So for this first lounge area, we're going to do the same thing that we did with the last one. Just take a little bit of carpet and we're basically going to set this up here. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to take some of the dark uh, oak planks and we're basically just going to build a couple of little counters here. And then we're going to build two more just like this. These are basically going to be where we're going to mount up some TVs and have some extra space for... Uh, for like cabinets and stuff like that. So now that we've got that done, basically for the most part this is all going to be completely done. Let's go, we're going to clear this out, we're going to grab some of our blocks of iron and this is basically going to be for our refrigerator just like this and then we've got all this set up here. So we're going to grab some item frames, we're going to grab some doors. For cabinets, for these cabinets I'm going to use the dark oak doors, I think that's going to look the best. And then I also am going to grab some dark gray carpet. Now the only reason I do that is so I like to have a little like stovey countertop looking thing here. And then basically we're going to build put our item frames up here for our cabinet doors. And then what you're going to want to do for the cabinet doors is I just like to have a match a little bit. So I like to have like a double cabinet here. This one can be like that. This one can be like that. This one can be like that. And then we'll stick this one just like this. And then we're kind of going to kind of do the same thing over here. We're going to put one here, 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 here. And then we're basically just going to do the same exact thing. You're going to want them to match. Now, for a lot of the cabinets, I generally like to have them facing, you know, whatever way I guess I really decide. Um, so pretty much do it however you want. Generally doubles together, I like to have at least two of them matching. And then I like to have them, if they're in a row like this, I like to have them all facing the same direction. Pretty much however your kitchen cabinets would be like if you were at your house. Same thing over here. We're going to put some cabinets in here. Now these we're going to do a little bit different. These we're actually going to do as drawers. So you're going to do them just like that. Same thing over here. We're going to rotate it all the way around so it looks like a drawer. Here will be a cabinet. Here will be a cabinet. These we're actually going to face the same direction. And yeah. So this is going to be our living area and our kitchen completely done. Our uh, sleeping area is completely done. So we are going to want to go through here. 
and you're going to want to grab some brown wool or whatever color carpet you decided to use and then whatever side uh, kind of doors you want to use. I'm going to use just birch doors again, but we are going to want to um, basically make a break space between this lounge area, the bed area, and then the kitchen and the bed area. This ki uh, this um, this one's going to be the only tough one. Basically, you're going to want to do the brown wool here and then you're going to do a door just like this. So it kind of takes a little bit of space away from um, the bed area, but you want it to be um, broken apart a little bit so that if people are up here talking and stuff while other people are back here trying to sleep, it's all going to kind of, you know, work itself out. And then we're basically going to take the brown wool here, do the same thing. So we've got a door here and then a door there. Then we're going to take some wood and we're going to go through and cover this up. This is where it's going to get a little bit tricky that you kind of just have to just do it. Um, this is the one part of the bus that I'm not exactly happy with, but based on how I have to do it in Minecraft, unfortunately there's not much else that we can really do. Um, so we're going to have to do some stairs, and then we're going to do a full block. So we're going to build our full block here, and then we're going to build our stairs. So that this if we want basically... We don't want to take any space away from the kitchen area, but we also don't want to take any space away from the bed area. So it's really the, only these two beds that kind of um, are going to sacrifice a little bit of space. But this is just kind of going to um, going to be where their legs go. So for the most part, it's not really going to be too big of an issue. Realistically, if this was a real um, bus, these are probably going to be the two people that are least important, is what I'm going to say. Probably crew guys generally that are going to have this spot. But yeah, so. Now the inside of our bus is pretty much done aside from our front area. So in the front area, basically you can just do whatever color for a floor you want. Honestly, I'm just going to do um, some of the dark gray. Um, I'll probably do dark gray wool over top of the uh, dark gray concrete. So I'm just going to go in here, fill this up with the dark gray concrete, and then basically I'll put wool carpet over whatever I can. I'm gonna want, you're going to want to put down a seat. So I'm just going to use the nether brick stairs for the driver's seat. Here, we're going to want to put down some cement stairs, basically, for our console. This is basically going to be all the controls and buttons and whatnot of the actual bus. And then here, um, since we can't really do a steering wheel, I'm just going to do a lever. Realistically, you can do just about whatever you want, um, whatever you think looks like a steering wheel. Since, I mean, obviously, a lever doesn't really look like a steering wheel, but I think it looks better than um, a lot of different stuff. So we'll put some uh, carpet there, some carpet there. Can't put any carpet there. And then basically we're just going to put our stairs here. So now with our stairs set up, now you can walk into our bus and it's looking like an actual bus. So we'll clear this out. We're going to get an iron door. We're going to want more levers. We're going to want more flat slabs. And we're going to want whatever color you want on the top. I'm just going to do the dark gray carpet again. Um, and that's about it. Oh, and we're going to grab some buttons too. We might as well grab everything for our final our final bit of the bus. So we're going to want some buttons. We're going to want some item frames. If we can grab those. We're going to want some ladders. Some redstone blocks. And some glowstone. And that is basically, this should basically finish up the rest of our bus. So the first thing we're going to do is put down our iron door. We're going to want the iron door so that the hinges are facing over here. So it opens this direction. We're going to put a lever here. This is going to open and close our door. We're going to come in here, and right up here, we're going to stick our lever. Now, this lever, for the most part, you're not even going to realize that it's here when it's all set and done. But this lever plays a very important role because this is going to keep this flat here. The reason that we needed to use one of these is when we open our door and we go to walk in, we hop in, we can walk in like this. If this was a block or literally anything else aside from this, this wouldn't we wouldn't be able to walk up um, this uh, set of stairs. So you can try it for yourself. Stick like a piece of glass or something in there. Basically, you're unable to walk up these stairs. It's really, really bizarre. But yeah, so we had to put that in, and it still matches and looks really, really good. So then we're going to go through here, and we're going to fill up the roof of our bus. Now with this, I'm using these flat slabs. Honestly, you can use whatever you want. If you want to just use another kind of wood, you think that looks a little bit better than these flat slabs, most definitely go for it. That's just going to be up to your preference. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to cover up the entire top of the bus with whatever color um, carpet you want, obviously, because if you've got like a red and black bus, you're probably not going to want to have gray carpet on the top. 
But this is basically just going to be the top of our bus, so we're going to go through here and put all this on. And now that we have these done, we're going to take some flat slabs, and these are basically just going to be like little air vents, or I'm not sure if they're like little modules for air conditioning. I'm not 100% sure. I don't make buses regularly. But basically, you're going to go in the center section. We're going to go in three blocks, break one, set one down. Same thing in the back. You're going to go over here, go in the center, go in three blocks, break one. And then you're just going to count how many are in between. I don't remember off the top of my head. So we're going to go 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14. So we've got 14 in between here. So we're going to want them to be, um, for the most part, the same distance away from each other. So realistically, what we're going to do is we're just going to go in 2, 4, and on the fifth one, um, from each end, we're basically going to stick one down. So the same thing, 2, 4, and on the fifth one. And these should be um, pretty much the same distance apart from what I can remember. Um, but yeah, so then that's basically what that's going to be just like that. And then we're just going to go through and just do the rest of the few things on the outside. We're going to put ladders down here for the grills of the bus. We're going to want to put some item frames here for the headlights. So put some item frames with some glowstone in there just like that. Go all the way to the back. We're going to put item frames down just like this on the front or on the bottom and the top basically all four corners and put um, some blocks of redstone in for the tail lights and then what I like to do is on the left side here I like to just put a little ladder um, generally most buses or you know campers stuff like that are gonna have uh, a ladder so you can climb to the top if need be and before I forget guys we need to put in one more thing on our bus we're gonna wanna get some picture frames or um, some paintings I guess technically and we're gonna wanna go and we're actually gonna put in our uh, TVs because you need to have a TV on a tour bus so basically we're gonna put in our TVs here realistically for the TVs you can do it however you want um, I'm just gonna put in some single frame paintings basically and we're gonna have a pretty awesome bus we're gonna have four TVs in the front we're gonna go back here and then we're gonna have two TVs in the back just like that if we can get it to go sometimes you have to kinda manipulate Minecraft a little bit stick a block or something there and there we go. So we've got our two TVs in the back. And now that you have the TVs done, we also need to put in the door for our refrigerator. So we're going to stick our refrigerator door right there, just like that. This door we're not actually going to make where it can open, just because it's going to block up the whole area. But yeah, so this is where that's going to be. All of our TVs are set up in place, and we are completely done, guys. So let's go back out here quick. We'll shut our door. And this is going to be how you guys are going to make a tour bus in Minecraft. As you guys can see, it looks pretty awesome. Um, yeah, it's going to be a fully functional tour bus aside um, from the fact that it doesn't move. Um, but yeah, so I think it looks absolutely awesome. We've got our cabinets here that open and close. We've got our door that opens and closes. We can hop into our bus. This is going to be where the driver's going to sit. I think it looks pretty realistic for the most part. Here's going to be our front lounge area. We've got multiple TVs that you can sit and watch. Here's going to be our little kitchen area, just like this. This is going to be our bunk area. Here's going to be our back lounge with a couple more TVs. And then we've got our little bus bathroom, just like that. So let me hop back out here without walking all up on the couches. Shut that door as well. And we're going to head back out. So this is what uh, how to make a bus, guys. It's going to be kind of a long video, as you guys can tell. But if you follow it, you're going to have as many tour buses as you guys want to have. So um, I do just want to thank you guys for watching this video. Make sure you hit that like button down below. You have no idea how much that helps me out. If you want to see some exclusive time lapses and other exclusive content, guys, make sure you head down in the description to my Patreon account. For literally as low as a dollar a month, you guys will get to see some awesome exclusive content that only the folks that help support me are going to get to see. Um, so you're definitely not going to want to miss out on that. And you can also take a look at my online store. That link is also going to be in the description as well. You can get yourself some awesome Mini Bean 75 merchandise for a great price. Um, so as always, guys, I just want to thank you guys for watching. Have a good one.